everybody? Welcome back to E cubed. Today we have a great expression, but be careful. This expression can have several meanings. It is an old timer. An old timer. I am an old timer. I know you're laughing. You're saying, Shane, you're so young. What do you mean you're an old timer? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Well, in this case, I'm an old-time English teacher. I've been teaching for a long time. Actually, the first time I started teaching online was in 1998. Yeah, maybe 1997, but for sure 1998. A long time ago, online, right? Well, obviously, I didn't do it for very long, otherwise I would be the biggest English teacher online, yeah, but, but I am an old timer. I've been online for a really long time. So somebody with a lot of experience in one area is an old timer. Now another definition of old timer is somebody who has been someplace for a long time, a physical location. So where I live in the desert, I'm not an old timer. But my dad is an old timer. My dad's been here over 10 years. He knows everything. He knows all about the desert, about the weather, the seasons. It never changes. But my dad's an old timer. And also, my dad is getting to be an old timer. The third definition of an old timer would be somebody who's pretty old. Now my dad is like, oh, like 110. No, no. Oh, he's like 72, 70, 72. I think he's about 72. No, he is. I know exactly how old he is. January 27th, 1942. He's 72 years old. I know exactly. I'm just teasing my father. And, but my dad, he's still kind of young, you know? So I don't call him an old timer. Some people might. But if you're like 90 years old, 95, I'm 95 years old, that would be an old timer. Yeah, 95, I don't care how young you think you are, you've been around a while. So if you're 95 and watching my video, you are awesome. Uh, what can I do for you? Let me know. You're an old timer, I'm just being honest, but you're awesome. Totally cool. And I'm an old timer too, but in a different way. Are you an old timer? Let's talk about that. Let's check out the dialogue. When did you start teaching on YouTube? Mm, back in 2010. Ah, so you're an old timer. Oh, uh, not really. Uh, a few go back to 2006. That's right, on YouTube, there are a couple of YouTube teachers that started in 2006. I'm so jealous. I wish I had the brains to start back then. 2010, not too bad. But uh, yeah, some of those teachers have been around a long time. Doing a great job too. Very different from me. Of course, our channel is the best. Well, it's not for beginners, that's for sure. Some of those channels are for beginners. So on YouTube, I've been there about four years. Uh, almost five years now. Am I an old timer? Not really, not really on YouTube. But online? Yes, I do actually have a lot of experience teaching online. So, uh, I'm kind of an old timer. When it comes to audio recording and making videos for teaching English, oh yeah, I'm an old timer. My first video for teaching English was 1993, 1994 at the latest, 1994. So, 20 years shooting video. Audio, definitely 1993, 1992, yeah, maybe 1992 for audio. So, I've been around since I was a little boy, since I was a little child. I've been making videos, teaching English to everybody. I'm an old timer. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What are you an old timer in? Now. It doesn't take 20 years to be an old timer in something. For example, if something started, what's something that started? Is there a video game? 
Uh, oh yeah, Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Everybody knows the game, Angry Birds. How old is Angry Birds? I don't know, three years? I'm just guessing three years old. But if you started playing Angry Birds from day one, right in the beginning, if you were playing Angry Birds, then you are an old time. I started playing Angry Birds yesterday. Oh, Angry Birds is so fun. What? I've been playing Angry Birds for three years. Whoa, you're an old timer. That makes perfect sense. So the idea, somebody who has a lot of experience, maximum experience relative to other people, you can be an old timer. What about in your town? Have you lived in your town your entire life? more than 10 years, more than 15, 20 years, then you are an old timer in your town. And once again, are you 95 years old? If you're 95 years old, can you hear me? I said, um, you're an old timer. It's true. Welcome to the family. My honor to be your English coach. Let's check out that dialogue three more times. When did you start teaching on YouTube? Mm, back in 2010. Ah, so you're an old timer. Uh, not really. A uh, few go back to 2006. When did you start teaching on YouTube? Mm, back in 2010. Ah, so you're an old timer. Uh, not really. A uh, few go back to 2006. When did you start teaching on YouTube? Mm, back in 2010. Ah, so you're an old timer. Uh, not really. A uh, few go back to 2006. I want to say a special thank you to my new sponsors. Without you, I couldn't be here. Together, we're going places. It's going to get bigger and better. Thank you so much to Andras Vuix. I hope my pronunciation is okay. And to Manse, Manse, thank you so much, both of you. You're my new patrons. And to Oishi Makoto, Oishi Makoto, Domoregato, Kujaimas. Thank you so much to everybody who, you know, listening to my videos is the most important thing. My videos, my podcasts, that makes me happy. Um, if you can give me a thumbs up, excellent. Now, these days, suddenly people are giving me the thumbs downs. Why? <laughs> Why? No, that's okay. At least you care. So I'll do my best to do better. Yeah. Um, that's important. Sharing my lessons on Facebook, on Twitter, sharing my lessons, so important. That is fundamental, and I thank you so much. Taking the time to do that means a lot. Leaving me a message, saying hi, saying thank you, or something like that, I really appreciate that. And the next step, of course, is becoming a sponsor, a patron. And it just takes a dollar. A dollar a month, that's like three cents a day, and it might not seem like much, but to me, altogether, it helps so much. So thank you, thank you so much. After that, if you can, if you're ready, We've got two excellent classes waiting for you. One is my listening class. Listening, speaking, pronunciation. Listening, pronunciation. That's the key for DDM classes. They're fantastic classes. And then we have PERF, which is all about speaking. So speaking and pronunciation, obviously, go together. Two different classes, but they work together. Actually, many DDM students take PERF and some PERF students are switching into DDM too. Uh, the reaction for both classes is excellent. 100% uh, confidence in recommending the class to you. Of course, if you don't like it, we can refund you, uh, but I do recommend. If you're ready for the next step, if you're really ready to, to focus on your English and get to the next level and, and maintain and build and have fun, we've got those classes too. But it all starts with watching the video, enjoying it, then coming back the next day, watching again, leaving a thumbs up, leaving a message, telling your friends, etc., etc., etc. The more support I get from you, the bigger and better and 
uh, more awesome stuff I can deliver to you. So thanks a lot. That's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.